I'm a huge, huge robotics nerd. I grew up watching Japanese TV shows for robotics. In high school, I was really into electronics, into building electrical things that move. I actually co-founded the University of Waterloo Mars Rover team. Faison was one of my classmates from University of Waterloo. He called me one day and told me the state of the art in robotics had advanced to a point where something could be commercialized around mobile autonomous robots. We started looking into snow cleaning. It's an interesting application, certainly very painful, but it only happens 10, 20 times a year versus cleaning, which actually happens six, eight hours every single night. We quickly realized it's very important for automation that you basically have a strong ROI. Abbotbots is a robotics company that is bringing robots to everyday life to expand human potential and allow the people to do higher value tasks. It was going to be a choice between setting up in Waterloo or setting up in Silicon Valley. We took a bet on Waterloo because this is a great place with the right intersection of product talent, both on the product management side as well as the right type of engineering fields that you need to create a system like Avidbot's Neo, which is the market's only fully autonomous floor scrubbing robot for large commercial environments. Spaces like colleges, universities, malls, airports. I spend like a month overnight cleaning at a college. I miss it. I miss those days sometimes, actually talking to the cleaning operators, working with them and understanding how they would like the machine to work. A lot of systems out there follow a teach and repeat methodology where the robot repeats what human trained it to do. However, Neo dynamically plans how it cleans the floor. We're in the eighth generation of Neo. We have a museum of prototypes with all of the robots lined up. As an entrepreneur, you end up pulling a lot of late nights. The robot has LED lights. You have this very shiny epoxy floor. One evening, shut off the lights of the office. You could actually see the reflection of the LED into the floor. It reminded me of a scene in The Matrix where Neo walks into the building to rescue Morpheus. It was like, okay, well, that's pretty cool. How about Neo? Today is actually great because our customers see it as a companion, as a part of their team. For a founder CEO, it's extremely important to know how to sell. First, have to learn how to sell your idea, get investors to believe in you, so you can hire people. You need to hire a lot of builders and generalists who want to wear more hats than one in the beginning. First time we made a sale of our robot at a trade show to one of the attendees who bought the robot we had in the booth on the spot. He was asking us for delivery. The excitement of selling went to, oh no, now we have to deliver and now it has to work. <laughs> The total addressable market for Avidbots is in the high single digit billion dollars a year. We sell in over 10 countries in the world, such as North America and now Australia, France, Singapore, Norway, Finland, Japan, South Korea, United Arab Emirates, Israel. You know, it's something that you just drew in a piece of paper one evening and you're like, yeah, that looks good, okay, whatever. And then now it becomes a thing, right? And it gets shipped all over the world. What, how many kilometers did we actually clean so far? Give me a second. The circumference of Earth, which is 46,000 kilometers. 